Hey, what's up guys? Tobin here, 5M Family Homestead Channel. Uh, today I want to show you all this quick video on how a super easy way uh, to make a long stringer uh, for a deck or a pool deck. Are needing a nine step stringer for our pool deck that we're building behind our house. I am I know some basic carpentry skills I can build the deck but uh, cutting the stringer if you've watched any videos on it the calculations that go into it it's very difficult. So Shannon and I were talking trying to come up with a way that we could uh, and also you can't the, the longer stringers like six uh, step and up uh, they're, they're out of stock everywhere and you can't find them and they don't ship them uh, so, you know, I was down to thinking maybe <laughs> my camera camera woman's drifting off on me looking at something. I was making sure Skylar, Skylar, Skylar. I was making oh, sure she's okay. So Shannon and I were kind of brainstorming, trying to come up with uh, a way uh, to get the stringers made. We thought about going on Facebook and asking if we had any friends or carpenters that could cut them for us. Um, um, and we were kind of going back and forth just what we were going to do. Uh, and I had mentioned to Shanna that I wish we could find online some kind of a template we could buy. And uh, she looked and we didn't find anything. And then she had the brilliant idea of buying a shorter stringer from Home Depot, one of the pre-cut ones, which is what we bought. This is a four-step stringer. I paid $15 for it at Home Depot. Um, and basically what I did, I've already cut one and we took it back there and it's gonna work perfectly. Um, but basically we just use this stringer as a template. Uh, we laid it down, it fits, we, we, I bought this, bought two 2x12s two at Home Depot, which is what you need. This four step stringer will fit exactly two times on this 2x12. And then all you have to do is just trace it out, move it, trace it, move it, trace it, and then cut it and that's it and if you were needing like a six or a seven you know obviously you would just uh, cut the last step off like i said we're needing nine step uh but we're going to make this work by putting some papers underneath the bottom of it uh just so we didn't have to buy a longer two by twelve and we weren't sure exactly how high or how many stringers steps on the stringer we needed well so, it, and the important thing is like lining up where yes. this is going to meet up with the with the, the next, next step, step. Um, so basically we'll what we did, we'll show you all here in a minute, basically yeah. we traced it one time and then we moved it like halfway down, trace it again, mm -hmm. and then move it the rest of the way down. Yeah. And that got it lined up perfectly and you just got to make sure everything's lined up. Other than that, you're going to need a 2x12, the stringer from Home Depot, a jigsaw and a skill saw, and a pen. And a handsome fella doing all the work. Yes, that's a lie. Yes. Let's trace it real quick and then... We'll show y'all. We'll show y'all how we're gonna cut it. The other thing that we found out is treated wood does not a pencil does not draw on it very well, especially if it's been recently treated. It seems to be damp. So he's just using yeah, this, a ballpoint pen. This one works pretty good. We got it traced uh, all the way down to right here. This is the bottom, which is gonna touch the ground right here. This is the top right here that will attach to the deck. So all we're doing is we're just gonna, we've got it traced to this point right here, and then we're gonna slide it down, and then get it lined up with the other trace marks, like that, and then trace it again, and then move it down and trace it again, because if you trace this part, this isn't actually part, or this part here isn't part of the, of what you need till you get to the end. Does that make sense? It's important to make sure this is all flush. That way your lines will match up when you're doing your template. And then this is the last part of the step. And this is where you're actually going to trace here and then you're gonna finish it off right here. Great. 
great tracing bed. So one thing uh, that I did just for simplicity's sake is I took a straight edge and where all these uh, corners are, I just made them go all the way to the edge. So that way, when you start with your skill saw, you have a good line to start on at the edge. Just do that all the way down. It's like an X on yeah. the top. And he'll do that all the way down to each of the points that meet. Just like that. So guys, uh, the reason I have the jigsaw is, um, is to cut the down in the corners. So I'm gonna use the skill saw to cut all the way across to here and I'm gonna stop about right there. And then the same thing, I'm gonna stop about right here. I'm gonna do that on every, every one and I'm gonna come back with the jigsaw. And in order to get a perfect st straight cut, the jigsaw will do that to get cut right in the corner. If you, when you're cutting with a skill saw, the blade's are rounded. So when you stop at that, um, at that corner, you're actually not stopping at the corner because of how the belt lays around it. One thing I'll, I'll tell you one thing, if you've never cut a lot with a skill saw, when you cut right here and you stop, don't pull the saw out until it stops turning. Because when you do, one, the teeth will hit the board and it will kick it back at you and you can lose a digit. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but he stopped. There's where the end is and he stopped right there. So that's where the jigsaw is gonna finish the cut. Alright guys, so we got all the main cuts done with the skill saw. So all I'm going to do now is just come back and cut the corners with the jigsaw and then we'll be done. What do you think? Can you, can you see all that? Yeah. Grab my phone there, buddy. Am I, am I in the light good? Well, no, I'm thinking about my thumbnail, so if you get a... Look, that was a great shot. Here, go down there and take... All right, guys, so we got it finished up. Eight-step stringer. Uh, it's made from a two by 12 by eight. Uh, we got two of them. We're gonna take it back around the deck and attach it. Um, we'll take y'all back there and show y'all real quick where we're going to put it at. Alright guys, so we got one stringer here and the other one's right here on the ground that we cut. Uh, we're going to attach them to the deck right here. Uh, this is kind of a, just a rough mock-up of how it's going to look to show y'all. Uh, then we're going to, like I said, we really needed one more step, but we're going to put these underneath there. And then we're actually going to build a walkway across over to our existing deck. Uh, so it'll be seamless straight across there. So. Guys, I hope this video helps y'all. If it does, please leave a comment below. Please consider subscribing and uh, hit that thumbs up button for us and uh, we'll see y'all again. Thank y'all.